Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And today, uh, today's topic is gonna be uh, called Red Light Special because that was the thing for my date night last night. So before I even get started, this is not gonna be one of my wife's school lives. Let me just say that. This is not gonna be one of those type of lives. This is gonna be one of them... I'm going to just say like this. If you at work, go ahead, and, go ahead and turn it off and watch it when you get home. Or if the churn in the car, turn it off. Watch it on your own time. If you're around people, go ahead and put your earbuds in. Because this is one, one of them old raw, uncut lives. So I'm just, I, I got to start off by telling you this because I don't want to get into my story to tell you about my night. And then you got to turn it off because... You like, I ain't know she was going to say all that. But I got to give it to you how it actually happened because, yeah, I had an amazing night. Let me let, let me start by saying that I had I had an awesome night. Okay. Shout out to Goody. That's where my shirt came from. Goody Howard. She's over there in Texas. She's another sex worker. But I'll let me go ahead and give Goody her shout out right quick and let you know that the She Spray is back in stock. Amber told me to make sure I let y'all know that. So, the she spray is back in stock. But let me tell you about how good this dick was. All right. So, when I plan my date nights, our date night is Tuesday. And I always alternate the planning. Meaning, if it's his week to plan, then the following week is my week. So, I already knew that my week was going to be... Uh, the one I said was the 23rd. Anyway... I was like, okay, let me do this whole red light special. So I'm, on, I'm online, I'm ordering all kind of red lights. And let me just say this here, some of that shit, I couldn't even put it together right. So I ended up uh, just rocking with the traditional red light bulbs that you screw in, in the ceiling. And then I had like red plug-in lights and stuff like that. So, oh, and, and let me say this here, them red lights look goddamn good when you fucking, oh, them bodies look good together under them red lights. So, yeah, that that was definitely a winner. I, I definitely like the whole atmosphere, vibe, so on and so forth. So, um, I didn't do like a restaurant or dinner or, or movie and all of that kind of stuff. This particular date night was strictly about fucking. When I planned it, I had nothing on my mind other than fucking, Okay. I had, I've been telling everybody to get the one foot cord. I never got the one foot cord, but I knew that when I was doing this day and night that I was going to do the one foot cord. So now y'all see my one foot cord kind of grease. <laughs> yeah, I brought the one that I used last night from home because I didn't want to have to open up another one to show you or whatever. So yes, this one got my DNA fingerprints. It, this one is real. I probably have to wash my hands after this life. <laughs> but anyway... This is the one for card I use. As you can see, it got fingerprints and grease marks and stains all over it. All right. So, I got my one for card from the PPG store. And I got me a kangaroo pill. Because, you know, we've been talking about the honey and the honey is great. But I was like, you know what? I'm just in the mood to give him some kangaroo pussy. Like, let me get this man some kangaroo pussy. Because kangaroo pussy is a little different. Okay. So, I think I might have told y'all this in the past. I'm already a squirter. But when you take kangaroo, it's like you you will get dehydrated. Like, your pussy turn into a faucet. Okay? Like, it literally... It's almost like flipping on the switch and then you try to... Okay, imagine you got a water hose, right? And imagine the water hose is studded going, but you studded trying to Put some in it to stop it, but it's steady going. That's what your pussy turn into with when you take the kangaroo. At least that's what happens for me. So, came to the PPG store, grabbed my cord, grabbed my pill. Fine. Takes the pill around 6 o'clock. Okay? So, around 6 o'clock, I took the pill when I was taking Taylor to go let her do her little driving because she didn't pass her driving course. She got to drive for the people next week. So, every day this evening, she's been driving. So, I go ahead and take my pill while I'm taking Taylor to go drive. Now, people say, well, why, why are you going to take the pill when you got to go do something else? 
Cause see, I, I take, I've taken kangaroo in the past and I know it takes a little while to break down in the system, but I know by the time I get to that dick, it's going to be in full effect. Okay. So I done took the kangaroo, then went and grabbed dinner, all this kind of stuff, got everybody situated and put my red lights all up in the room. Then went Joanne and came and dropped my cupcakes off to the store. Now, again, I told you this live was going to be graphic. I just brought one of them here to be able to show you. But you see that Joanne made me some pussy. Okay. You see that pussy cupcakes. Cause see, as, as we didn't got in our older age, you know, after we bust all of them nuts and stuff, we like the snack. We, we, we like the snack. So what I said, well, you know, I, I know how much my husband likes to snack, you know, after we have sex, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to get him some little pussy treats. I'm going to get him some, uh, coochie cupcakes. So I had Joanne to make me some coochie cupcakes. Somebody tag Joanne Edmonds. Thank you, Joanne, with Cravings by Joanne. So Joanne got me right with the cupcakes. So I got all my stuff. I got everything I need, right? All right. So gets home. I got all my red lights in. I done, I got this beautiful uh, red bra and panty set. And the, the panty part is like a thong. So my ass sitting just right, okay? Ass sitting just right. I done gained a couple of pounds during quarantine, so I got a few little, little love handles on the side. It's a little chunky on the side, but that's all right. Anyway, I'm feeling sexy. I done put my pheromones on. Yes, I love all my oils. So I done put my pheromones on and got out the tub and everything. So I told Mr. Parker, I'm going to let you know when I'm ready for you to come in, right? Okay. So I got the music playing, got everything going. So I walked into the living room with nothing but my bra and panty on and I'm all oiled up and got pheromones and shit all over me. And I reaches him this card, right? This is the brand new one in the pack. This is the one that y'all will buy. And the card says, I reach him the card. Wanna fuck? So he opens the card up. And the card says, <laughs> Me too. So when you get, okay, my card done been used. So we done took all of the different little shit that come with the card. Cause see the card come with um, a flavor lubricant. It comes with uh, a flavor by the top and it comes with a lubricant and it comes with a massage oil. But I'm gonna tell you why I'm glad this card came with lubricant. If you like me, I keep lubricant on deck anyway. I brought my lubricant because this is the actual lubricant that I enjoy using with Elite. This came with some Karma Sutra lubricant. Cool. So, you got four positions that this card tell you you got to get in. So, I'm going to just tell you the four positions and I'm going to tell you about the order that we did this shit because this was some good shit. So, it tell you tabletop tantrum. Okay. It tell you toe touch tango, deep lotus, and love lock. All right. So, Toe touch tango is basically when you um, bend over and you grab your ankles. All right. So we said, okay, we're going to start off with the standing up position. And then the second position was table top tantra, but we didn't go to our kitchen table. We just did it on the edge of our bed, which that was a whole nother because he ended up having to go get his tennis shoes and put them on because the shit just got so slippery. Oh yeah, it got serious. Okay. So then we uh, went from that position to the deep lotus. That is a riding position. And then after that, it went to a love lock, which is a missionary with your legs locked behind his uh, back. All right. So here we go. Opens up the lubricant, lubes the dick up because y'all already know lubricant is your friend. And when you know that you're about to get fucked to the extent that you're about to get fucked, the last thing you want to do is start drying up. Okay. So puts the lubricant on. I didn't lube the dick up and everything. And I'm thinking, okay, let me go ahead and grab my ankles because I'm I'm getting in a position to get ready to receive dick, right? So what happened when you don't receive dick and then all of a sudden you got the fucking mouth? I'm like, the position said dick. But I'm getting mouth. So goodness, you know how it is on a motherfucker eating your pussy from the back and you standing up. Knees starting to buckle and all of this kind of shit. And I'm just like, you know what? Why he can't just follow the rules of the uh of the greeting card? 
He done turned this shit into some other shit because, see, you just got to know when you're dealing with people that's nasty, they'll take these little basic things that this car tell you to do and then they're going to add their own little spin to it, which is fine. So after my knees and shit get the buckling and he's seeing that I'm about to get ready to break down, then he hits me with the dick. Bam. I'm like, oh, shit. But guess what? I got a mirror in my room, right? So he hitting it from the back. I'm talking about he tearing it up. I got my damn... Anchor. So then I have to kind of raise up a little bit to hold on to the dresser to be able to hold my fucking balance because he tagging my ass. I'm talking about tearing me up. Y'all, I looked in that mirror and them red lights was hitting all over our bodies and that shit just did something. I was like, ooh, this shit looks sexy. Come on. So then I'm looking at him and he he beating it up and I'm looking at my ass jiggling back on him and shit. I'm like, oh yeah, this, this, some, this some awesome shit here. All right. So, we decide, to, all right, let's go into position number two. Position number two, edge of the bed. So, we get it going, and it's going. But, you know, if you're a squirter, then you already know how your body reacts when you're about to squirt. And I'm like, oh, shit, you, you hitting this fucking G-spot. It's about to fucking happen. It's about to explode. The waterworks is about to come. All of a sudden, I squirted so fucking hard on this man that she was running all down his thighs. Like, literally, like, running down his legs. He was like, shit, dude, you, you done, all this shit running down my legs. So, at this point, he ain't got no shoes on, right? So, he's still trying to fuck me, but I done squirted and wet everything up. Him, me, the flow, the side of the bed. Now, he got to stop and go get his tennis shoes because he got to get a grip of the flow because his feet sliding. So he was like, let me get my, my good tennis shoes with some grip so I could won't slide. So he goes to the closet, gets his tennis shoes to put on, gets back in the position. And at this point, he lifts my ass up because he able to get a grip on me now. And he is weighing my ass out. But at this point, you got candy playing on the radio with a skate. <laughs> Candy with a skate all uh, traces of my lipstick and she on there talking about do it feel good to you, baby. And all of a sudden I look up and he goes and taps the fucking iPad to turn her off. He talking about I don't want to hear her howling in my goddamn ear like a howling dog. And I'm like, how you gonna do candy like that? He talking about I don't want to hear nothing but you and this pussy. I say, oh, baby. Who child? All right. So. All of the edge of the bed wet, he wet, I'm wet, the flow wet. So we decide, to, all right, let's go ahead and switch into the third position. But at this point, my cooch is starting to swell up because he didn't tow it up. I don't care. Let me tell you something. I don't care how much lubricant you use. When your cock getting beat out the frame like that, your shit going to start to swell up. All right. Which is good because now... These other positions were some positions that allowed us to be able to slow it down a little bit, which I was very grateful for. Okay, deep lotus. So I lays him down in the bed, and then I get some top where the deep lotus requires you to have one knee up, which was my right knee was up, and my other knee was down. So it's kind of like I was able to ride and be able to balance myself at the same time because I had the support with one leg being up, but at the same time, both legs wasn't up. Okay, so I'm doing my ditty up there on the dick riding and all of this kind of stuff. And I don't know, but this man got so excited, Lord, he grabbed me by my waist and he just started pounding the side of my inside so damn deep to the point where I got to making all kind of noises up in there and I was like, Lord, I sure hope my children got their earbuds in right about now because you done turned all my music off and you can't hear nothing in this bitch right now but me and my pussy because it was soaked and wet, still squirting all over him at this point. He got shit running all over his stomach and just everywhere because, you know, kangaroo pussy is different, child. That's all I can say. Kangaroo pussy, it is just different. All right. Switching out of that position. To now, I got to roll over to my back and do this whole love lock. Well, do this love lock. That's what it say, do the love lock. Well, I don't know, but 
He decided, oh, and let me tell you something else too. They give you all of these uh, products to be able to use and they tell you different stuff to be able to use with each position, right? So at this point, we about to get ready to do the love lock, so I think. But he takes and puts the flavored body topping on the pussy. So we done went from one extreme to now we ain't doing the love lock no more. We It's, it's straight up me crawling back like a fucking crawfish. Okay, so he just basically want to put me into a position to where I'm completely defenseless and, and taking all of everything I got inside of me out. I guess that was the whole purpose. So one good thing that I did like about this card was not only did it tell you all the different positions to get in, which is great for people who don't necessarily get to experience new positions all the time. And you have somebody that kind of do it the same way every time. This will kind of get them out their comfort zone and it allows you to be able to taste different products and experience different products as well. And it tells you which positions to use, which products with. Anyway, so I'm literally just getting eight all the way up. Okay. So finally we get to do this whole love lock position. And if you know anything about deep missionary, then you know, this is another position to stimulate the um, not the, not the, um, I don't want to say the G spot. It's not the G spot. It's the U spot. It's the, um, it's one of those deep, uh, cervical orgasms. So this is the type of orgasm that when it's over with, your cervix is still fucking trying to shake back. The one when you, he, the dick ain't even in you no more, but you feel your shit just started shaking and throbbing. Cervical orgasms. This position allows you to experience that orgasm, okay? So, this was an awesome, awesome investment. Only $10, and it comes with all of these different products inside of it. It is on the website as well. But as you can see, we got good use out of ours because you can see all of the fingerprints and handprints and oil prints and all of this kind of shit because we got some good use out of ours. But this is what it looks like. If you ever decide to purchase it, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the card and you're going to get all of the different uh, samples of the product as well. Okay. When it was over, you know, Joanne, the, the pussy was great, girl, but Sharon don't eat no pussy child. So I just pulled the pussy off the top of mine and went on ahead and ate it. Um, I can't remember if Spencer ate the pussy on his or not, but I know that these damn cupcakes was good as hell. All right. So if y'all looking for pussy cupcakes, make sure y'all go see Joanne. And let me show you something. My girl even had a piercing. You see that? She even got a piercing. I just want everybody to be able to see it. Joanne, you outdid yourself. Look, after all of that, I had Spencer six of these on the nightstand. For him to be able to indulge in. Because if you know anything. When you fucking as you get older. You you enjoy your snacks afterwards. You be looking for your little treats and shit. So I had him some little uh, treats. I was able to uh, steal one of them. For my live today. But they were really good Joanne. Really 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 good. Alright. That was my night child. That was the real life special. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I woke up so happy. Mm -hmm. I sure did. I was glad I had a hair appointment because, baby, I don't know. I was going to be looking kind of tore up today if I had to come up in here and do this live. So, these are the products that we talked about. We talked about the lubricant. All this is on the website. We talked about the, um, the massage oil. All of this was in the cord. And we talked about the flavored body topping. All right. Throat, baby. Y'all told me to listen to the Throat Baby song. First of all, Gabby, my daughter that's 21, was like, Mom, I think you need to listen to the Throat Baby song. So, I pulls up the Throat Baby song. Oh, thank you, Amisha. Listen to the Throat Baby song. And I was like, okay, all right. I hear what they saying. So then, I finally heard, and I told y'all, I done finally heard the Throat Baby song. And y'all said, oh, no, you got to listen to the remix. So guess what? Today I heard the remix. Well, I have a basket for all of the throat babies. Because y'all know March 14th. March 14th is around the corner, steak and blowjob day. I want y'all to keep that same energy y'all have for Valentine's Day. Make sure you have that same energy for steak and blowjob day. This is our first year having a COVID 
steak and blow job day. And because I want you to be prepared at all times to suck dick, we got the COVID face mask with the hole in it. That is the, the hole is stretchable and adjustable. That means any size dick can fit through the hole. Okay. We got these COVID blowjob masks. Okay, so suppose y'all decide y'all want to take y'all a walk and you got to have your mask on. You know, they say you got to have your face covered and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm, I understand. But, you know, you might see, because let me tell you, I was in, um, I was at Greenwood Park the other day. And they got a little area by the lakes and all of that kind of stuff, like little trails and stuff. Yeah, I know they got a whole lot of dick sucking and shit going on all back up in there by them trails. I just know, I know it, it got to be a whole bunch of dick sucking going on. But... You can have your mask and you can still be able to perform blowjobs at the same time. So this is like really, really cute, especially being that we are in a COVID era, era not an area. We're in a COVID era. If you're looking for the COVID BJ face mask, come see me here at the PPG store or go to the website. This is a great gag gift to be able to give to somebody too. I'm big on doing stuff to make people smile. When it's date night, I always do like little cute little stuff. Like these cupcakes, this is the kind, this is the kind of cute little stuff that I like to do for my husband. Stuff that I know that's going to make him smile, make him laugh, put him in good spirits and stuff like that. You know, those doing those type of things are important, okay? And a lot of times I love gag gifts because I like to make people laugh, Okay. So, we got the COVID face mask. Mm -hmm. We got the blowjob door hangers. So, on this side, it says you may come in, blowjob is over. But if you flip it to the back, it says blowjob. So, when it's on the back, blowjob is in progress. When it's on the front, you can come in now because the blowjob is over. This is some real cute door hangers that you can put on your door. All right. Um, those of y'all that's been asking about baskets. Now, y'all already know one of these is going to get raffled off, meaning some lucky winner who has registered on my website, www.dppgstore.com, will have this basket shipped to them, okay? So, with that being said, go register. If you already registered, then that's fine because all we're doing is going to select the email address, email you, let you know you're a winner, and then ship your basket to you. But this is a throw baby basket. Throw baby basket. We got the bib. We got the mask. We got the, the uh, gummy pecker rings. We got the edible panties for you. We got the wet head to activate the saliva gland. The BJ Blast oral sex candy. We got the blow job whole kit. This is the, the big old kit in the back of it. And we got the um the gum job in here as well these baskets are for sale at the store for 100 dollars. so if you're looking for a throw baby basket you can come here and get it i only have three left i want to say so yes if you're not registered make sure you go register well that concludes my live y'all um i had an awesome night if you are not doing date night, I encourage you to get on some type of schedule for date night. Like I said, me and Mr. Parker, we do Tuesday nights and we alternate planning. And the reason why it's important to alternate planning is you don't ever have to worry about not doing the things that you enjoy doing. And that person don't ever have to worry about not doing the things that they enjoy doing. Because I'm going to give you an example. Suppose um, your husband is into rivers and lakes, liking to go walk along by the of water, any type of water, beaches, whatever. And, and, and for you, that is the most boring thing in the world, and that's something that you would never plan to do. He can plan his rivers, lakes, beaches, and all of this kind of stuff for his date night. And if you are more the person that likes um, more... I'm going to say the main event, um, Dave and Buster's, Area 51. If you're that type of person and you can plan your type of date nights for the things that you enjoy, he can plan date nights for the things that he enjoy. And basically what y'all do is you learn to be able to enjoy the person and get to know them 
and what it is that they like and they enjoy and they can teach you some things about them. It's okay to do restaurants. It's okay to do dinner and movies, but it's also okay to do things that each other actually enjoys. If you need a date night game, we just restocked them because we was completely sold out, but I think we just got like 30 of them in stock. So if you need a date night game, the store is fully stocked with date night games to give you different ideas and suggestions for date night. Date night is vital for any relationship. If a man can't take you out in public and put you on his arm and be proud to walk around with you and show the world something is wrong. Men love to show off the shit that they got, including they women. If you are, if you a nice looking woman and you keep yourself up, he want to be seen with you. He want to be seen with you. If you got a man that, that keep trying to hide you and all the only time he trying to come through is at nighttime to bust your cock out, that ain't that ain't hitting no shit. You need somebody that want to be able to do nice things with you from time to time too. We do weekly date nights because we understand the importance of it. I understand that everybody can't do weekly date nights. So if you can't do weekly date nights. At least try to start off with bi-weekly. Once a month is almost like not doing date, date night at all. Once a month is only 12 dates a year. So to me, once a month is damn near equivalent to not even having date night at all. So I'm going to tell y'all to push for every other week at least. Push for every two weeks, even if you can't do um, every week. And another thing is with date night. A lot of times y'all think that these date nights have to be all in the evening time and all this kind of stuff. No, if you say that we're going to set out two hours to be able to do something with each other to ourselves, then that's your time. It's not going to always be the whole evening. It's not going to always be nighttime. Sometimes you'll be able to hook up and go do brunch together or something like that. It's about you making sure you're getting that time in with each other. Okay. All right. That concludes my live. You all be blessed. Again, thank you, Goody, for my shirt. I got a few shirts, sweatshirts, all kind of stuff. I love supporting um, my fellow sex workers because a lot of times people don't understand. I have a store. So I have people, tra traffic coming in and different stuff like this all day. Some sex workers do not have stores. They literally only do online classes. Some of them literally only may have one or two, a few products that they move or whatever. So my thing is when I see my fellow sex workers drop a book, when I see them drop a t-shirt, when I see them come up with anything, I'll be the first one to be on to support them because I understand how important it is for us to be able to support each other, especially in this line of work, because we don't get a lot of support. And when I'm saying that, I'm talking about from other people in business, not from our, not from our customers. I'm talking about other people in business because a lot of times our line of work gets belittled and degraded and all of this kind of stuff. They don't really look at it as work, but sex work is real work. Okay. All right. Y'all see the website at the bottom. Y'all see the Instagram and you see the cash app. Feel free to utilize any of that. Any of that. All tips are welcome. You all be safe. You all be blessed. You all have a great day.